should we do a one dose for all above 45 um, and then do a second dose for above 45 um, i mean is there a strategy to to uh, to really spread this out and try to because all, when you're talking of 100 uh, million doses if it's a two uh, dose vaccine then we're effectively we're talking about 50 million uh, so is there a way that we can stretch this uh, gap between the first and second doses to to sort of at least curtail the the toll that is uh, uh, you know, that, that we're taking right now in terms of healthcare the burden on the healthcare system and death and disease that's an interesting thought, um, and it's something that people have considered. But let me just tell you, by the time the vaccine is in a meaningful part of this population, right, this particular wave will be one way or the other. That's historical data, that's what we know with it. What we are doing is then you have this disease which is ended. So giving one dose at this point to as many people, is what everybody needs to work towards, but not that you don't need to give a second dose. So the good thing we have noticed is also, we knew this for many vaccines, that if you spread the time between dose A and dose B to a reasonable extent, you would actually see good protection. In fact, there is good evidence that one dose protects you against severe disease. But I might get a lot of flack for this. There is no reason why, if you could sell two doses, you would want to sell one. That's for another day. But at this point, I'm not saying stop with one, but let people in decision try and spread out the vaccine, at least in this initial phase when there is an all. Now, the situation would be entirely different if we were at the end of this wave. Then the question is, can we make sure that people are adequately protected for long enough periods of time? Now, who knows that two doses are going to be enough? We don't have enough data on that. In another year, probably people will be talking about booster doses and thereabouts. But at this point, you're right. It makes a lot of sense. Give as many people the first dose. Now, it brings you to another point. The point is, despite so many doses being available, about 20% of doses in my district have been wasted because you have to open wires which you can't use. We need to not just spread it out. We need to make sure vaccines get used by the target population. And this brings you to the question of hesitancy and what's been driving the lack of transparency is on one side. A lot of messaging has been negative. And this is where I think the journalists have a very critical role to play. The messaging, the vaccines are safe, not just by saying they are safe, by looking at evidence dispassionately and being able to communicate what's needed is important. Because I think without building on a communication strategy that's effective, there is no way we will beat hesitancy. Because hesitancy is not rational alone. I mean, it's not based on, I know this, this, this about vaccines. It's, it's all random things that play a role. And you guys know this better than I do. So uh, if you want to make sure that the vaccines get accelerated, figure out the right message. 